Hey guys, I'm back with another Minecraft tutorial. Here in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to build this wooden mansion. Unlike most of my other builds, this one's going to be a good project, more suited for survival. So I didn't really do any of the interior furnishings for this build, other than the kitchen and a very simple dining room. I pretty much just focused on the interior layout. And I'm going to pretty much leave all of the rooms up to you to furnish. Since this is more suited for survival, you'll just have your own stuff inside the house anyway. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right on into building it. Here's the plot size for the build. So if you want the house itself, as well as all of the landscaping, which is the front and backyard, then you're going to be paying attention to the entire shape. So from left to right, we're going to need 76 blocks. From front to back, we're going to need 63. If you just want the house itself and none of the landscaping, then once again, from left to right, you're going to need 76 blocks. From front to back, you're going to need 35. One more thing to pay attention to, in between those two yellow lines, that's going to be the space needed for the front yard. So just make sure in between those two lines, you should still be able to see 22 spaces of grass. And then for that little space at the back, that's just the extra space that the backyard goes further than the house. So just make sure in between those two lines, you should still be able to see four spaces of grass. Here in part one, we're just going to be marking out all of the exterior walls for the first floor of the house. That's probably all we're really going to have time for. But if we do have more time, we'll be sure to do more. But for now, just be sure to go ahead and grab some stripped spruce logs, oak wood planks, white stained glass panes, oak wood stairs, spruce wood stairs, jungle leaves, stone bricks, and some spruce doors. I'm going to be starting at the front side. Head on over here towards the right to the corner for the shape where the house itself is going to be. So we're going to be right here. You just want to make sure you have your stripped spruce log. We're going to be leaving a space of grass away from this line and then a space of grass away from that one. So we're going to be placing a block of the wood right there and another one right here. So you can see this one has one space of grass, then the line over here, one space of grass and then the line. And another thing you can look at, you can see we have two spaces of grass right here. That's diagonal until you meet up at the corner of this concrete. So now on top of that, you could go ahead and just bring this up by an additional seven layers. So including the layer we already have, it'll be eight in total. And now, just work your way over towards the left. We're going to be pretty much marking out the entire front side of the house first. So skip over four spaces from the corner of where that is. You just want to make sure you're on this fifth block. Bring up another pillar of eight. And then go ahead and skip over another four spaces. So you're on this fifth block. Bring up another pillar of eight. And then go behind this one, pretty much from the corner of it right here. And you can have another pillar of eight. So it's the same way we did the two right there. So from up above, looking down at it from the front side, this is what you should have. Now you can just line up with this pillar where we left off. You could go right behind it. We're going to skip back another four spaces. So we're going to be on this fifth block. We'll bring up another pillar of eight. And now we're going to work our way over towards the left. For now, I'm just going to mark out where the pillars are going to be. And I'll then bring them up to the height they should be. So we could just go to the left of that pillar. Skip over another four. So you're going to be on the fifth block. We're going to have a pillar right there. So like I said, I'll just go ahead and mark it out. I won't bring it up quite just yet. Skip over towards the left another four again. So you're going to be on this fifth block. We're going to have two side by side right there. Now skip over another four. And we're going to have one right here. Skip over four again. Have one here. We're going to be doing it two more times. So skip over four. Have one here, skip over four, have another one here. And now skip over four again. We're going to have another set of two side by side like that. 
anything, you can skip over four, have a single one, skip over four, and have one more right here. So just to double check, let's go back. We have this one right here where we left off. And then we have just one, two, and then we have four single ones right here. We have another set of two, and then we have two more single ones here. I'm going to go ahead and bring these up an additional seven layers, so they're going to be eight in total. So this is what it's looking like so far. And now what we did over here with those three uh, pillars, like we have the corner, that middle one, and that corner, we're going to be doing the same thing over here. So you can just line up where this pillar is. You can skip back towards the front. Up by here, we're going to be skipping over the four spaces. So we're going to be on this fifth block. We're going to have one here from the corner of that another one here so you can see once again we're left with the single space of grass until you meet up with the yellow concrete and then you could go towards the left skip over four we're on this fifth block we're going to place one there skip over four on this fifth block you could place one here go towards the left from the corner of it place one more and now let's go ahead and bring these up so that they're eight in total We have all of those pillars marked out here for the first floor of the house for the entire front side. Now let's go along the sides and start marking it all out here. So we're going to continue skipping over four spaces. So we just go back here where we left off. Just work your way towards the back. Skip over four here. We're going to have a pillar. Skip over four again. We're going to have one here. Skip over four again one here and then one more time and then this is pretty much where the corner is going to be so we're going to have one here go diagonal from that have one more so this is what the side is looking like we have these two that are connected we have three individual ones and then we have two more right there that are connected i'll go over to this other side i'm going to do the same thing and then we'll go ahead and bring them all up to the same height And there we go. Now we have the sides all marked out with those pillars. Let's head to the back side. And we'll go ahead and start marking them all out here for the back side of the house. So here for the back is going to be similar to how we did the front. So once again, we're going to skip over these four spaces. We're going to have a pillar here. You can see how we're lined up with the front side. Skip over another four. We're going to have one here. And then go back towards the left have another one there and now go ahead and skip back in toward it's pretty much like towards the front we have another four here and then we have that pillar go towards the left skip over another four one there skip over four again have one here so this is what we marked out we have a single one there the two connected together and then three single ones right there we're going to do the same on this side, and then we'll bring them all up to the same height. So, looking from the back side, this is what we have so far. Now, on either side, I'll just go over here towards this right. We're going to line up where this pillar is. We're going to be going back out, so pretty much working our way towards the back side. We're going to skip over another four. We're going to have one here. And if that work your way towards the left and out, we'll have another one there. And now, go towards the left. You know what? We'll go over to the side first and we'll do the same thing. So we'll just work our way towards the back, skip over the fours so around this fifth block, have one here go towards the right and out have one right there and now let's skip over another four so we're gonna have one here 
and then we're gonna go out and have another one so that's pretty much working your way towards the back and then skip over like make sure you're lined up with this further one like this one that's out further skip over another four so you're on this fifth block we'll have one here skip over another four have one here skip over four again and we're gonna have one here and then another one behind it so now this one is lined up where that is so from up above this is what it should be looking like now let's go ahead and bring these all up to the same height again all right so there we go i'll go back up to the front and i'll actually look down at it and this is what it should be looking like from up above from the front side now let's go ahead and start filling in all of the space in between the pillars i'll head on over here towards this front right side first we're actually going to continue with these stripped spruce wood logs and we just want to go here in the corner of where this set of two is We'll just add two additional ones right there. We're going to go right behind this pillar, do the same thing, and over here in this corner. Now switch to your jungle leaves. We're going to be lined up where we just placed the set of two all throughout there. We're going to be right on top of the grass. So we're just going to have four jungle leaves like that. We'll do the same right here. And then on top of that, go ahead and switch to some spruce wood stairs. We're going to place these upside down. And then right behind the jungle leaves, you could grab these stone bricks and fill in all of the space back here. So now this is going to be the base of the house. So if you plan on doing just the house and none of the landscaping, you're going to be able to see this pretty much along the entire base of the house. So if you don't plan on doing any of the landscaping and you just want the house itself, then this part here is pretty much going to be visible all along the entire base of the house. But if you do plan on doing the landscaping, then here at the front, all of this is actually going to be covered up. The layers of the landscaping is going to be all the way up here. The only parts, it's going to be like all covered up throughout here at the front and most of the back as well. The only parts where this little base part is going to be visible with the landscaping it's going to be here at the sides. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it all along the entire house. Even though most of it's going to be covered up when we do the landscaping. Just for those of you who don't plan on doing the landscaping. You at least know how it's going to look and how to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and go along the side here. And we'll pretty much just continue on. So we'll just start with the jungle leaves. Oh wait, first let's go ahead and switch to the stripped spruce logs. We'll go right behind this pillar. Add the extra two down there at the bottom. We'll do that for these other pillars and here in this corner. And now just lined up where all of those are. You could go ahead and have the jungle leaves down here at the bottom. And now let's go ahead and have the stripped, or my bad, the spruce wood stairs just upside down along the top. And then right behind all those jungle leaves, you could go ahead and just fill in all the space here with the stone bricks. So just anywhere where you see the jungle leaves, just make sure there's stone brick behind it. Just like that. Let's go along the back side, switch back to your stripped spruce log. We'll have two here, another set of two here. And then where this one is, we'll go ahead and place two on this side and two on this side and we'll do the same here at the front so two here and two here and we'll go ahead and fill in the back so it is now like this just like how we did the front let's go ahead and fill in this section here Just like that. We do the same here at the front. There we go. 
So we have this entire section for the right side of the house all filled in. This is how it should be looking for the base. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here at the left side. So I'll just start out by marking out the two layers of the stripped spruce logs. And then we'll go ahead and do the leaves, the stone bricks, and the stairs. So it's all just marked out with the two layers where these pillars are for now. Alright, so now we have this side all filled in, marked out. Let's go ahead and focus on... We have like these sections right here for the front and back side. And all of this space here in the middle at the front is going to be where the front porch is. So we're not really going to have anything here. As for the back, we have a deck. So we're really not going to have anything here at the back either. It's pretty much just these spaces here on the sides. So now I'm here at the front side again. We'll head on over towards the left. We'll just go right behind where this pillar is. Make sure you have your stripped spruce log. We'll have another set of two there. We're going to have another set of two right behind this pillar. We don't have to worry about doing this side. Let's go ahead and mark out these two spaces. So we have those two sections filled in. We're going to do the same over here at this right side. So now this is what the front side is looking like. We're going to go to the back. We're going to do the same thing for these two sections. We're also going to do this space here. So let's go ahead and mark out the pillars. We'll do the same over on this side. And then just the same design we've done everywhere else. So we have all of those marked out. That's pretty much all we're going to be doing of those for now. Now let's start filling in all of the space in between the pillars. We're going to have a window in between pretty much every single pillar except for these two spaces right here on the sides. But as for everywhere else, there is pretty much going to be a window. We do have the front doors right here and the back doors. So let's go ahead and start marking all of that out. We'll start by filling in all of the space where we added the base of the house. So make sure you have your oak wood planks. We're going to have a layer just right on top of the spruce wood stairs. And then we'll bring up a strip to the same height as the pillar. And then we're going to go ahead and have two extra blocks there at the top. Two upside down oak wood stairs. And then the rest of the space is going to be filled in with white stained glass panes. So we're going to do that same design pretty much everywhere else. So I'll go ahead and do this space here. This space. And these two spaces here at the front. So I'll show it one more time. We'll just have the strip of four down there at the bottom. We'll bring up each side to the same height as the pillars, add an extra two spaces at the top, two upside down oak wood stairs, the rest of this will be filled in with white stained glass panes. So we'll do the same for the rest of these three spaces, we'll go ahead and do that side over there as well. So this is what we've done so far. Now, here along the side, as I mentioned, we're just going to go ahead and skip over these two spaces here for now. And we'll go ahead and fill in this space. We have these two spaces here at the back. And then we'll go ahead and do this one, these two right here, and this one for now. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for now. Just this section all back here for this space and that space. 
And then I'm going to head on over to that side and we'll do the same thing that we just did here at this side. So I'll see you once I have this all filled in as well as that over there. So now I have this entire side done. Looks like this so far. Now let's go ahead and focus here on the middle space. So here at the front, make sure you have your oak wood planks. We're just going to go in between all of these pillars. We're going to add three layers starting all the way at the bottom. Just like that. We'll do the same for all of the other space. So it's like this so far. And right here in the middle is actually where the front doors are going to be. So we could go ahead and actually just delete those two spaces right there. And now let's just go along the sides to the same height as the pillars with the oak wood planks. So we're going to have the same window design that we've done everywhere else for these two spaces and those two spaces. Right here in the middle, as I mentioned, is where the front doors are going to be. So what I'm going to do is switch to the oak wood stairs. I'm going to leave two spaces here, so we're on this third space. We're just going to place two upside down, like that. On top of it, we're going to have some white stained glass panes. And then the rest of the space, we're just going to fill in with some oak wood planks like that. And now, the same window design that we've done everywhere else, we're going to do for the rest of these spaces. And right here, where the front doors are going to be, I'm not going to worry about filling in the doors quite just yet. You know what, I guess I will, but we are going to be replacing these planks right here. So let me actually go ahead and delete these two spaces. I'll grab the spruce wood planks. I'll fill that in. And then I'll go from the inside and I'll add the two spruce wood doors. So that way we don't have to remove these to add the floors that we're actually going to have here. So there we go, that's what it's looking like. And now we're going to be doing the same thing for the middle space here at the back side. So make sure you have your oak wood planks. I'll just head on over here towards the right. I'm just going to go from the corner of where this second pillar is. So we're going to go right here. And this is where we're going to have the planks. So we're here lined up where the set of two that we added of the spruce wood planks. Or my bad, where the strip spruce wood is. So we'll bring this all the way up. Just three layers like that. So that's all filled in. You can see how we still see two spaces of the logs here. And then just the one here at the right side. So we'll do the same over here. Just like that. And then we'll go right here. Lined up at this one. We'll fill in the extra three. So you can see how we're just out an extra space away from where this one is. So now we have just the single space that we still see here and over here. We'll do the same on this side. Like that. And then here in the middle, we'll go ahead and just add the layer of the spruce or of the oak wood planks there. We'll have one more on each side. We'll have the spruce wood planks here. And then pretty much all of the other space along the sides is going to be filled all the way up to the top. We'll mark out our spruce wood doors, so we'll go from the inside, place two right there. Have the oak wood stairs upside down. We'll have a window here, and then the rest of the space filled in with oak wood planks. And now we're going to have the same window design that we did at the front and everywhere else. And this is what the back side is looking like. So we pretty much have the entire exterior marked out for the first floor of the house. Let's go to the two spaces on each side and fill those in now. And then we will have the entire first floor done. So let's go all the way over here. You could just start with your stripped spruce logs. And we're going to go right on top of the stairs right here in the middle. And we'll just bring this all the way up to the same height as the other pillars. We'll do the same right here. And then 
We'll go ahead and fill in the sides with some spruce wood planks. So it's just a nice little feature here for the wall. Instead of just having it completely oak wood planks, I just wanted these strips of the logs right down the middle. I thought it looked cool. Let's go to the other side and we'll do the same thing. And there we go. Now we have all of the exterior walls marked out for the first floor of the house. I'm going to do one more thing here in part one, and that's going to be the deck here at the back side of the house. So make sure you have the stripped spruce logs, some spruce wood slabs, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood planks, and spruce trap door, and then some lecterns, jungle leaves, and some stone bricks. So I'm going to start with the stripped spruce logs. I'll just head on over towards this left side first. And we're pretty much going to be lined up where these pillars are. So we'll line up where this set is first. We're going to be three spaces away from it, so we're on this fourth space. We'll bring up a pillar of three like that. And then we'll go out, bring up another pillar of three. So you can see how these two are lined up with these two. And now, skip over another set of three. So we're going to be on this fourth space. We're going to have like a corner one here. So we'll bring up three there. We'll have three on this side and three on this side. So now this one should be right up against the edge of this yellow concrete for the plot size for the house itself. So from up above, looking down at it from the back side, we just have the set of two and then that corner piece of three. We'll do the same over here on this side. So we'll just skip over to three, have a set of three here, just two side by side like that. Skip over another set of three, and then go ahead and have this corner part. There we go. And now, let's go ahead and skip over four, so we're pretty much working our way towards that side. So we'll skip over four, we're on this fifth space. We'll bring that up by three, we'll go behind it, have another set of three. So it's lined up with that right there. We'll do it again. So skip over four, be on the fifth space. You can see how we're lined up with those pillars for the house as well. So one right there. And then we'll go ahead and have two right here and two right here to finish it off. Just like that. So at the sides, we have a space of three on each side, and then everywhere else here along the entire back is spaces of, are spaces of four. So now, let's go ahead and have some spruce wood slabs on top of all of these logs. And then we're going to have a small staircase going up right here. So you can have a slab lined up with each side of these, or like lined up where these pillars are, right down the middle where the front, or where the back doors are, my bad. And then let's go ahead in between those slabs and have these spruce wood stairs, just four like that. Go up on the next layer, make sure in between these pillars, have another set of four. And now, in between all of these other pillars, we're going to fill in with like a similar design to the base that we did for the house. So grab your jungle leaves. We'll just be at the back side of these pillars. We'll fill it all in with the jungle leaves first. Like that. Do the same over here. Go ahead and have the stairs on top of these leaves. And now behind all of those jungle leaves, you could go ahead and fill it all in with the stone bricks. There we go. And now on top of all of those spruce wood stairs, we're going to have lecterns. We just want to make sure we're here on the inside. So the book part is on the inner part of the deck. So the outside looks like this. It looks nice and neat and clean. Just matches the rest of the house instead of having all of the colors on the outside. So it's looking like this. 
And now on top of all of those lecterns, we're going to have some spruce trap doors. So we're going to have to crouch and just place them like this. And I like to make sure the lines in the spruce trap doors are all lined up and not in a different direction like that. All right, it just looks a lot nicer having them all in the same direction. So this is what it's looking like now. Almost done. We just have to fill it all in with the spruce wood planks here for this part. So at the same layer as these stairs that we brought up, you could go ahead and just fill in all of this space. So there we go. Now all of that is filled in. Looks good. And that is actually all I'm going to do here in part one. So I'm going to leave it at that here for part one for this tutorial on how to build this wooden mansion. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part two.